After surviving over 30,000 days in my other hardcore world that is still currently running, I get asked this question so often. What would I do if I had to start all over again? Well, this is that video. Today, we will be starting our 100 days totemless. And boom, we're in the brand new seed. So there's a few things I would like to cover before we get into this video. One of them being, this is going to be a shared seed. So if you guys want to be able to play along with me, you will be able to see the seed linked in the description below. Also, when I inevitably die, you guys will be able to download this world when I'm done with it. So if you guys want to be able to pick up from where I left off in this world after I've departed, you can definitely do that. So anyways, we're going to start off with getting some sticks. We're going to make ourselves a crafting bench. And immediately I am going to mark where my spawn is located right here. Looks like my UI is a little bit scuffed here. I'm going to make myself an axe. I'm going to make myself a pickaxe immediately. And we'll probably make one more crafting bench because I'm going to leave this other crafting bench here just to mark where my spawn is at. So I can come back later to make an iron farm. I'm immediately going to seek out some sheep so I can get myself a bed as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we were only able to get two white sheep and this gray sheep, so we still need to go find one more. We're going to go take down this hefty, beefy boy over here, and we're going to continue to keep looking for that next sheep. If I could find one, I got some pigs over here. I'm just going to stock up on food as fast as possible. Uh, couldn't find any more sheep, so we're going to quickly grab ourselves some stone to get to the Stone Age. And we're going to farm enough stone so we're also able to make ourselves a furnace as well. So we can immediately start cooking up all of the food that we have been working towards. Don't need to remind me just how slow wooden tools are. I do not miss this. Especially compared to the tools I have in my other world. So... We'll make ourselves a stone pick, quickly upgrade that. Keep the, uh, I might keep the wooden pick. We'll see what happens. Found myself another sheep here so I can make myself a whole bed. Here we go. Perfect. And then I found a couple more sheep kicking around over here. And honestly, I can't say no to more food. I'll even take the pig. Nice. All right, let's make ourselves a bed now. Uh, I don't know why I'm using this uh, this whole interface. I should just be using the actual other interface, but here we are. It's been a minute. Okay, I know how to craft a bed. Found myself some coal here in this little bit of a ravine. So typically I would like to stay away from ravines, but in this case, there's so much coal here readily available. I'm just going to snag what I can because this can come in a massive, massive handy to get us uh, going in this world. It actually looks like there's a fair bit of coal in here as well. I might actually walk away with a good stack. Um, I'm definitely feeling the, the anticipation of always feeling like I can get killed at any moment, which is a pretty exciting feeling, but also extremely scary because I do want this series to kind of go on for a very long time. Okay, leaving the ravine, we got ourselves 41 coal. That's pretty decent. The sun's going down. I also have two suns, kind of like Tatooine. I don't know what's going on here. Sky pack be bugging. And there it goes. This is going to be our very first night. We're cooking up some food currently right now. And then uh, we're going to be looking for a village as soon as I could possibly get enough food. And then I think if I cross this area, I'm hoping that there's going to be a village on the other side. But I'm not 100% sure. But we'll see what we can find. I don't want to get creeped up on by a creeper. That's seriously one of my biggest fears. Also, skeletons are extremely dangerous. So let's sleep. Boom. Day one, done. All right. That was easy. Just going to take a quick look around here. And we need to see what we need to get done. So let's go over here. Found myself a spider. Take that guy out. Get some monster hunter. Noise. And then I'm just going to head out with all of my stuff. 21 sheep later. I feel like I have enough food at this point. And wool. Nice. Found myself a little bit more coal over here. Just going to farm this guy up. 
to you. We haven't been able to find any iron yet. I've been sticking around to the mountains a little bit because I know iron will now spawn a little bit higher in elevation, but I haven't been able to find it. I wouldn't mind being able to get myself at least five, maybe six, so I can make myself a pick. Oh, hold on. That's iron. Please be more than one. Come on. Uh, no, it's looking like it might be one. There could be some hidden around here, but it's looking like it's just going to be one. Damn. Well, beggars can't be choosers. That's one more, uh, that's two, two iron for us. Okay, we're going to pack up all of our stuff, and then we're going to head on out of here. I want to head across this plains biome to see if I can find myself a village I haven't been able to find yet. Found myself another cheeky ravine. It looks like there's a little bit of coal up here. Or iron, sorry. There is a lot of coal in here as well, but I don't need the coal as much right now. Looking a little bit dangerous in here. I don't think I'm going to uh, go in there anymore. I feel like that's a death trap. Making our way across this uh, plains biome still. Got the scuffed rainbow to our right. We're on day one. Almost day two. I'm about ready to go to bed here. Found some more sheep. A little bit of a ravine area over here. And we found ourselves a village. Nice. All right, perfect. This is where the game really starts. Okay, so I'm going to make my way down here. It, I don't see a blacksmith or anything like that. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But I'm going to make my way down here. Not having feather falling is honestly... Uh, extremely tough because like four or five blocks can actually do an insane amount of damage. So I'm just going to sleep inside of here. I'm going to steal all these crops. I mean, borrow, borrow and definitely replant because I'm not a bad guy. Come on now. And we're also probably going to be living here. So I'll probably be farming this up as we go. We got ourselves a farmer over here. He's got a wheat trade. That's decent because I also see hay bales and I also have a few hay bales. So we're going to be stealing all the hay bales here, but that's the first three emeralds in this world. Nice. I'm going to farm every single one of these hay bales. I should probably make myself a hoe so I'm able to farm this stuff faster, but I'm not too worried about that right now. I think I'll be okay. I don't really want to make an iron or stone hoe. I'd rather just make a... Uh, I'd rather make that just a little bit later. I don't really need it now. Do I? Well, definitely considering it. Hold on. That's a jelly cat. Hey, yo. Okay. Mission side quest. Okay. We need to get ourselves enough fish so we can tame that cat ASAP Rocky style, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, chest. Uh, Nothing good. Just a couple uh, apples, a potato, some bread. Oh, I'm just going to leave that there. All right. Cool. Let me go get some fish. I'm going to probably set up right over here real quick this is going to be a good spot where i don't think we're going to get crept up on by any creepers and then over here i think i saw a bunch of fish in here so let me just go kill these fish so i can tame that cat asap and then it should keep the creepers away plus i want to start a cat army there it is we got ourselves a little bit of fish there and let's just farm it up because i think there there could be multiple cats okay got myself 11 salmon this, this cat's going to be eating good today. Let's go see if we can potentially corner it somewhere. Okay, we've got it cornered in a hole. Here we go. Nowhere to run. Boom. First try. Nice. We got ourselves a jelly cat. Sweet. If you guys want me to name this cat, put a name in the comment section down below. And I will name this cat. Oh, and this guy too. Hey, yo. There we go. Sweet. We got two cats. All right, cool. Put, that, put some names in the comments if you guys would like to name these cats. Remember, uh, this world's going to be downloadable. So these are going to be Easter eggs as we go. So I immediately want to breed those guys. There it is. We have ourselves a kitten. You guys know what to do. Give me a kitten name and I'll name it for you guys. Okay, dude. I'm pretty sure they're bugged. They won't come to me anymore, but they're staring ominously over there at that uh, at that mountain. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not going to ask any questions, but I'm pretty sure that ain't right. 
Anyways, gonna make myself an iron pickaxe, finally. A little bit of an upgrade. Sweet. Cats are still bugged. Okay, cats are over here, actually. They just all teleported, and honestly, this is a flippin' vibe. I can just hear them purring. And that's honestly so nice. Yep. There we go. Sweet. All right. So let me just quickly organize up some of these items here. I, uh, my inventory is an absolute mess. I forget what early game loot is like a lot of the time because this is anarchy. There is not enough space to organize any of this stuff. Cool. Honestly, I'm just going to throw a few of these things away. I'll keep the sticks, I guess. Keep the, um, keep that, keep that. Yeah, sure. I'll keep all this. There's a lot of this stuff that's kind of garbage. I got 21 mutton, which is pretty damn good. I'll keep the egg if I want to make a chicken farm later on down the road. Got my three emeralds. My dandelion. I can go straight into the water. Beetroot seeds. I'll keep those so I can kind of farm uh, a little bit of beetroot so I can trade with the villagers. Pop that back, and I think we're looking good. Sweet. All right, cool. And five more pork chops. All right, a CD place. I'm just going to quickly replant all these crops real fast. Get ourselves a little bit of an infrastructure going here. <laughs> Honestly, the ambient noise of all the cats purring in the background is kind of just my life at this point. I love it. Uh, let's get some beetroots going here. Get as many crops as I possibly can because I need to start farming uh, as much crops so I can start trading with uh, farmers. And as we're speaking about farmers, let's uh, trade up all of this wheat that we've been selling. Let's see what he's got for us. Pumpkins. Okay, pumpkins. I've seen a couple pumpkins along the way. And some of them are across the way over here. So let me make my way over here. I'm going to farm these up. We'll make ourselves a little bit of a pumpkin farm. Uh, grab these actually pumpkins are actually super ideal for early game if i can cure a couple of these guys i can get myself one for one basically and of course this beautiful blossom wood over here or cherry wood whatever you guys want to call it i'm going to snag a little bit of this i don't know what i'm going to build with it yet but i'm surrounded by blossom trees this is why i chose the seed that i chose mainly because of the beauty Okay, I found myself a little bit of a ravine here. It's got tons of coal, but it's being puppy guarded by a flipping skeleton. There's a lot of iron in here as well, so I need to take this guy out, dude. Three hearts, dude? Okay. Only means business, dude. You gotta be kidding me at this point. All right, cool. Well, I almost died to a skeleton. First guy, took him out with a pickaxe though. Looks like we found ourselves a little bit of a, uh, a dungeon. I don't know what's in there yet. It could be anything, but there's no way there's just cobble out here. Um, what is that? I, it's hard to tell what it is. It looks like maybe it's a skelly, but there's no way, dude. That'd be way too flippin' lucky. Let me pillar across here. I'm hearing a lot of skeletons, so that's very promising. It could be a skelly spawner. Uh, let me grab all of this. I need all the iron I could possibly grab at this point. I don't have an iron farm yet. I don't know when we plan to build an iron farm. And I really want to get in there. But I don't think we're ready for it just yet. So before we actually go back in there, let's get a little bit more well equipped. I don't even have armor yet. No way am I going to take down a skelly spawner. I'm probably going to die. But I got myself 32 iron, so that's great. Sweet. Okay, so let's make a bunch of boats here. And sticks. So I want to start getting a lot of these villagers like kind of in the same spot so I can make myself a villager trading hall. I probably made way too many flipping boats, but here we are. Regrets were made. Regrets were made, dude. Okay, so I highly doubt there's like 15 flipping villagers here, but let's get this guy real fast. And yeah, there he goes. And then this guy real fast. Let's get him in the boat. Get in there, dude. All right, cool. Uh, there's got to be more up there, and that sheep can probably... He's probably going to hang out on the boat, too. So, 
Okay, I got this guy. If we can get past this super tricky path block because, you know, flipping boats can't go over top of path blocks for some weird reason. It's one pixel. It's one pixel, Mojang, please. Let a guy boat over some path blocks, man. Please. Okay, so we got ourselves like, what, five guys? Burgers and fries? And we got ourselves a golem. Sorry, I had to. Anyways, I'm going to start blocking these guys in so they don't get ganked by a creeper or something nuts. Or, you know, worse. I don't know. A skeleton or something. Um, I don't have enough resources. I literally have six more dirt. Let's get this guy out of here. And let's move. Let's tuck this guy in real fast. Wait, is that even? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just scoot him in there. I'm going to have to grab, obviously, way more dirt. Because I ain't got the stuff for this. But hey, it's a start. Over here, I've got my iron. We can make a bunch of iron now. Let me make some armor. There we go. This I already feel way more protected, and of course, a bucket because you know water will come in handy. Make ourselves a axe so I can actually some chop down some fucking wood faster. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm feeling way more protected now. All right, let's get these guys protected as well. This should be enough dirt. I just don't want anything bad to happen to these guys. These are the only villagers I have, and I don't know of any other villages nearby. And we'll just quickly light this up so I don't have mobs spawning up here. Because that would be a tragic end to this situation. I found three more guys over here all talking, gossiping it up near the bell. We got that guy. We got this guy. Let me just get you in a boat. Of course he's going to walk that way. Oh, there's two guys here. Oh, derp. Didn't even see that dude. You get in there, please. Boom, perfect. All right, and then we have a librarian kind of walking up here. So you could be my mending guy. Thanks. Cool. All right, Uh, and then there's another golem up there, I see. Okay, boating this guy across. This guy should be one of the last guys that we need to boat over here. And then we can start digging out a little bit of a hole. Okay, this is all the guys. Yep, it's looking good. I don't know how many villagers I have in there. It wasn't really counting, but it should be enough. Let's go take that skelly spawner now. Okay, so... I really hope this is a skelly spawner and we're not being debated, but I don't have a bow, so this is going to be a little bit tricky. But we'll see if we can get in here with the dangles and potentially take this spawner out. It's definitely sounding like a skelly spawner. Just light it up real fast. Let me get through here. Um, yep, it's a skeleton. I just try to swipe him with my flipping axe. What do I got? Like the reach of flipping a giraffe, dude? Let's push this guy out. Maybe we can push him out with some water. I think he may have fell and fallen. Fell in. Because that's a word. Alright, cool. Alright, dude. It's got one chest. I don't see where the heck the other guy went. I think he's gone. That's a sketchy hole and decent we got ourselves a name tag a golden apple and a flipping mending book are you kidding me all right cool well that will come in handy all right cool so we got ourselves uh actually a really good chest i'm gonna steal this chest too because you know times are tough i'll be back sweet uh let me see if i can get a little bit deeper inside of here i want to try and see if i can find myself any more iron i'll take that um yep there's a little bit more iron right there cool just want to basically steal all the iron I could possibly get my hands on at this point. I feel like I can't get enough iron. <laughs> it's a hot commodity. I'm not even flying through tools at this point. Um. All right, cool. Not bad. That was a decent amount. That was a decent amount. All right. Water bucket down. We hit those, dude. We hit those. And I'm not going down there. Okay, found myself an emerald. Plus one. Plus one. Nice. I, I don't know what the heck that was. That was just that just felt satisfying. I'll be uh, I'll be honest. Alright, making myself a shovel. I'm gonna start digging out a little bit of a hole for these villagers. I'm thinking I wanna just basically make a long hallway with a bunch of like little hallways, you know? So right down here. So I could just drop them in here if I'd like. They shouldn't be that hard to move in here. I won't have to move them far at all. 
but let's get in here carve these guys out and of course we don't want to have mobs can't have a side torch get out of here we're gonna put out all of our torches so we don't actually end up like having you know a lot of death let me see if i can get some flipping string here hold up there it is that guy almost yeeted me into flipping space dude you kidding me sweet two string and we made ourselves a shield take this guy out got another advancement plus one sweet that's a sketchy hole all right let's get some flint here so i want to make myself a little bit of a portal so i can get into the nether here fairly soon and i can always cook up some holy crap hello there it is Jeez, what was that? Like the 30th flipping one? Okay, uh, let's make ourselves a flint and steel. Done. Sweet. Alright, uh, we got more iron coming in. I feel like I'm not actually struggling for iron at this point. I feel pretty dang good. And this is the, uh, the villagers when I've moved them all in here. I got myself a couple good trades going on here. Set up a mason. I don't really think we're going to use the mason. Got myself an armor if I need a diamond armor and a tool guy if I need some, uh, hopefully, some diamond axes or diamond pickaxes. So that's going pretty well. And we got ourselves a little bit of an infrastructure when it comes to crops. Okay, I'm looking for diamonds. I found myself a huge ravine, a little bit of a death trap. It's got a little bit of a mine shaft in it, but I'm Looking at what I think might be an aquifer. And aquifers mean flipping diamonds. Found our first chest. Here we go. Just going to flip and break that because I am scared. <laughs> Not in a safe spot. What do we got? All right. So we got ourselves another name tag. So that's pretty good. We'll use those for like iron farms and enderman farms. That will come in handy. We'll take this lapis too while we're at it. Got another skelly here. Oh my gosh, hello? Dude, the dude's got the flipping peaks. Got him. And there's another chest right here. I'm just going to quickly yoink that. What do we got? Anything good? Nope, not really. Got ourselves some gold here. Just going to snag that. Thank you. And a little bit more iron in the ceiling, it looks like here. So, you know, I can't. Okay, so we found ourselves some diamonds. So, a quick thing to note here, because I get asked this question a lot. What's the best way to find diamonds? This is what I think the best way to find diamonds early game is. Find a good aquifer down by a deep slate la layer and bring a magma block down with you because the way that the game works is less diamonds will be exposed to air blocks. This is exposed to water, so it's not technically air blocks. So, you'll find all kinds of diamonds basically down inside these aquifers. So that was easy plus three. Obviously, you want to make sure you have, like, I don't know, doors or a magma block. In my case, I like to use magma blocks. I just hold down shift. You won't take any damage. They're easy to pick up. You're fine. Cool. We'll see if we can find any more diamonds here uh, while we're down here. So, basically, the air bubbles do go by pretty fast down here, too. But this is my, this is my preferred method to get diamonds. Early game. Okay. Okay, so different aquifer here. Haven't been in this one, but this one looks a little bit more promising. This one's a lot more deep slate. Oh, there we go. All right, we got ourselves some diamonds already. It's so easy to find diamonds, like when you're inside these aquifers. So we're just going to come in here and we're going to steal whatever we could possibly get. Just make sure you're keeping an eye on those, uh, those air bubbles. You don't want to die. But it's a very safe way of doing it because, one, you don't have to worry about mobs like creepers or skeletons also trying to kill you. There's more. Okay, we'll get these guys real fast. I don't know how many diamonds we're going to be rolling out of here with, but I will... I'm hoping for at least 30 because I think 30 will be enough for pretty much everything that we need. And, yeah, make sure you're holding down that shift button or else you will take damage. Hello? Yeah. And we're off.
Uh, I found some more diamonds. I found two pockets of diamonds, dude. Hello? Two pocks. Two pock? Anyways. This is honestly painful trying to mind flipping diamonds with a... What is this? An iron pickaxe when it's deep slant? Jeez, this is way too flipping long. I feel like I'm mining obsidian at this point. I'm sorry for making you guys watch this, but if I'm struggling, you're struggling. Honestly, if you've made it this part of the video, put like diamonds down in the comment section or something like that because this is a struggle. But we struggle together. Oh, I am flipping stuff for McCating. No, we're good. Oh, found more diamonds up there. Sweet. Dude, sometimes I'll be walking away from these aquifers with so many diamonds. It's actually nuts. I'm just going to get this. Come on. My air bubbles, dude. I can't get a good angle on this. I'm going to try to maybe get some lapis as well. Oh, my gosh. Dude, why is it? Why? Oh, it's because I don't have uh, respiration, dude. An aqua infinity. I'm telling you, man, I'm not used to not having all these enchantments and stuff like that. Remember, I come from a 30,000 day hardcore world. I haven't really played early game in so flipping long. I've forgotten how long it takes to do certain things. All right, we got ourselves 24 flipping diamonds, got ourselves a bunch of lapis. Now, I think I'm just going to get out of here. I don't want to get too greedy. A good player knows when to leave a situation and come back, you know? So let's see if we can mine our way out of here. You get too greedy, you end up sticking around for too long, you get way too many things in your inventory, and you basically overstay your welcome, and you end up dying. I've seen it happen to numerous people in the past. I've learned to cut my uh, cut my losses and just leave whenever safe. Okay, I think we're almost at the surface here. I'm gonna set up a bed here. I hear chickens, so that's already a good sign. I also hear, I think, a pig walking around up there. I don't hear any creepers because creepers do have a pretty distinct audio. Let me see what's going on here. There we go. Sweet. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's head on home. We got ourselves 24 diamonds. Not as many as I would like, but still way more than I thought. Okay, so I think we're just over here. Uh, Yeah, I memorized, uh, memorized that rock, dude. That, that scuffed looking mountain. All right. I like this area. This area is not too bad. I wish the village wasn't so ugly, though. All right. Back here. We got ourselves a little bit of food waiting for us. Cool. Um, let me just kind of quickly organize and see what we got going on here. Because, you know, uh, early game inventory is an actual struggle. I don't care where you come from. Um, got ourselves another name tag. So that's basically one name tag for... An iron farm and one name tag for an endermite for an enderman farm, so that will definitely come in handy. Bones, I don't know what the heck can do with all this other stuff, but uh, here we are. Got a little bit more things here. I've been farming up a lot of pumpkins too. Pretty much any pumpkin I see along the way. Been trying to stand, uh, basically steal. Let's get those guys in there, and crops aren't really looking so good. Okay, I'm going to steal these bookshelves right here. I want to start making an enchantment table here pretty soon. Take a little bit of this sugar cane. Uh, I saw a bunch of sugar cane basically down this river side here. When I was uh, coming back from getting all those diamonds and stuff like that. So let me just drink all of this. It's a fair bit of sugar cane. I'm probably just going to replant it and end up uh, repurposing it for paper. And of course, we got to kill this guy for the leather. And this guy as well. You're not safe. My rule with uh, with animals is I don't kill animals if they're with their with the with they're with their uh their kids. If I can get words out. Anyways, we found ourselves a brewing stand in here. Got myself a little bit of an abandoned uh village steal all these hay bales because this abandoned village actually had loads of hay bales i don't know what's up with that i see a pillager outpost over there and i also made myself a hoe it's about time this is good i'm going to be trading all this with the farmers so hay bales are basically farm on site sweet 37 chuck that out i'm out and of course, I'm stealing the bell. They don't need this anymore. It obviously didn't work. 
Uh, found herself a saddle. That means we can uh, basically tame a donkey. You already know how. You don't even. You already know what it is. Uh, and then through here, nothing in there. Okay. Okay, dude. Pillar job post. This could be a death trap, but I need to take this out. Let's take these guys out here. Uh, this is where sharpness would definitely come in handy, but I'm more of a smite boy. I know that's going to trigger a bunch of you guys, but it's just the way it is, dude. Smite's better. Sorry. Uh, let's, maybe we can get ourselves a template. Uh, please? What is it? Which one is it? Oh, just two bottles of enchantment and some logs. Okay, not too bad. Let's just make my way off of here. Uh, and let's see if we can potentially survive this journey. But of course, we gotta go let those all lays out. No way we can leave them behind, dude. And I'm not gonna bring them home because their AI is honestly scuffed. Uh, and it's an absolute menace to move, move these guys. Maybe one day we'll come back for them, but today it's not that day. So we're just gonna let these guys out. I've done my, I've done it, I've done it. A little bit of good karma, please. Maybe we'll find something valuable. And just take, I, dude, I don't know why I'm trying to fight these guys. I should just probably be on my way. Remember, a good player always knows when to leave. And honestly, okay, never mind. You know what? They asked for it. They've been following me for way too many blocks. Honestly. So let's 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 get, let's do let's do this to them. Yeah, that's right. Take him out. I don't want bad omen. No way am I gonna survive a flipping raid at this point. Get out of here, dude. Jeez. Oh, All right, cool. A little bit of a um, a little bit of a fight. Got ourselves a donkey here. Let's see if we can get this guy all tamed up. Oh, he's a pain. He's a pain in the ass. Here we go. Okay, he's probably going to be a fast boy, too. He's got decent hearts. I don't know if... Do donkeys always have the same amount of hearts? I have no idea. Anyways, let's get this guy tamed up. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, here we go, dude. Boom. Where, where's my saddle? There it is. Jeez. Nice. He's actually pretty quick. All right, we're going to make ourselves some books. I'm going to see if how many bookshelves we can make. The early game struggles of making uh, enough bookshelves for a full enchantment setup has really kicked in at this point. It's weird grinding for books. I never thought I'd say that. And may as well use those. Make ourselves another furnace because now we're really cooking. Like actually cooking. Uh, and we got ourselves a decent amount of coal now where we can actually get multiple furnaces going because I need to cook up all this meat. Cool. And I guess we'll just chuck that in there. Boom. Uh, let's make ourselves a few more things of paper, some more books. Let's see how many more bookshelves we can get. Okay, 11. We need 15. We're almost there. In the meantime, let's plant some crops. So I did read a thing about like alternating crops in rows. It actually makes the crops grow faster. I think that's right. So that's why I'm skipping a bunch of blocks here. I'm thinking it could be beneficial because I'm not going to be spending a whole lot of time in here. But if you basically alternate your crops in rows like this, it should... I don't know exactly how fast, but it should actually grow a little bit faster, which will definitely kind of come in handy because we don't have anything automated at this point, obviously. It's only like day 10, if that. Maybe day 5. <laughs> so I'll take what I can get. Cool. So that's all replanted. I got a little bit of this kind of going here. Nothing really much to really trade with villagers yet, but at least we're getting things started. Let's go make ourselves a diamond pickaxe now. Uh, we got ourselves the last bookshelf. So, it's time for a diamond pick. So, where's that at? <laughs> Just going to quickly organize this. I'm trying to stay organized, man. Uh, let's get ourselves some sticks. Make a pickaxe. Didn't grab the flipping diamonds. All right, let's get those diamonds. There it is. I, t I need to stop using this inventory thing. I need to start using the crafting thing. The grid. The crafting grid. That's what it's called. Yeah. 
All right, got ourselves some lava in here. I saw this earlier. It's uh, I need like what four obsidian for a uh, enchantment table, and then I'm also gonna try to grab as much obsidian as I possibly can for also a portal to the Nether as well. While we're here, may as well. Boom, ice bucket challenge, done. Plus one. That's another one under the uh, in the in the bag, or whatever the kids are saying nowadays. Yeah, dude, honestly, kind of not, <laughs> kind of not liking the how long it's taken to mine some of these blocks. But um, hey, I've got nothing better to do with my day, um, and I and I'm fitting to sit here and just kind of mine this obsidian for the next you know, twenty minutes. But that should be good. I got about what seventeen. So we should be fine to do everything we need to do with this. Perfect. All right, let's make ourselves a bow as well. Because we don't even have range at this point, dude. Uh, we also have a few arrows right here. And we have that skelly grinder too. Mm -hmm. Make ourselves a portal. We're filling in the corners. Look at us. There you go. Don't mind the bottom corners. You didn't see that. Just the top corners. Don't tell Etho. But let's see what we got. Uh, honestly, Soul Sand Valley. Could have thought about two more biomes that would have been better than this, but here we are. Uh, it's not terrible, but it's not the best nether spawn. At least we're not open and constantly getting bombarded by gas, so... I'll take it. And by take it, I mean I also don't really have a choice on whether I'm going to take this or not, so... Let's just block it up with some cobblestone so we don't end up losing this to a uh, to a gas or something like that. Let's just kind of make this a little bit more safe. I'll have to protect the other side from creepers as well. Um, good tidbit um, or tip. Don't go through uh, any nether portal, whether it's safe or not, without your chest plate being on. I've seen so many people die to having, you know, their elytra wings going on through portals. And of course, just for the sound. And of course the bone meal, but damn this sound. This is probably the best sounding block in the game. 15 of those, not bad. And quartz, honestly, is a huge uh, buff on experience early game. So we're just gonna steal a bunch of this so we can get a few levels. Uh, and before we uh, we dive a little bit into that, let me go make myself some boots because honestly, I was farming a little bit of the uh, the quartz and I was feeling a little uneasy with all the piglins kind of walking around. I don't want to get stuck in a hole and have a piglin basically, um, well, mug me for all of my stuff and just leave me to death. Death, dead, whatever you guys, whatever it is. I don't want to get killed by a flipping piglin. Um, don't think I'm going to need that. And we're going back. Alright, I want to get up to at least level 36, I'm thinking. That should be a fair uh, amount of experience to pretty much get as much enchantment as we can get done. And, um, yeah, this is a very fast way of doing it. If you guys don't farm quartz early game, this is a really good way of getting a little bit of experience, especially if you don't really have a good villager infrastructure going or any kind of mob grinder. If you're comfortable in the nether, which honestly, if you've got your uh, gold boots, you should be pretty pretty safe. Obviously, don't hit those guys. Um, I'm just gonna leave that. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're already at, like almost level 30. You see how fast my XP bar is moving up too? So it's just like, you know what? I'm definitely taking this. And you know what, bonus? You also get a beautiful building block to use in the future for whatever you plan on using it. You could build a bob grinder with all this quartz. It's pretty good. But yes, I'm just going to continue to keep farming this up, getting my levels and all that fun stuff. Uh, I think I found myself a nether fortress. Uh, really weird. I almost didn't even notice it. It looked like a shadow in the uh, side of the brick. So let's get into here. There it is, a terrible fortress, plus one. Actually, before I get lost, let me just kind of throw an L in here or something like that, just so I can kind of find my way around here so I don't end up getting lost. There we go. We smart. 
and then we'll just kind of torch a little bit so we can kind of track our way back oh and we got ourselves nether wart like instantly dude nice okay perfect well that's kind of a perfect run now we just need to sell, find ourselves a blaze spawner cool okay got our fellow got ourselves a chest here a little bit of gold i'll take that thank you chest number two uh literally nothing good except i did get another saddle be able to build a horse army a whole calvary be sweet all right uh oh we got ourselves rib sweet we got ourselves the rib trim that's got to be kind of rare isn't it all right fourth uh we got ourselves a singular diamond and i i guess i'll smelt this or something like that honestly Dude, that was first try. You won't believe me, but that was actually first try. Okay. Take these guys out. Found myself a little bit of a blaze spawner over here. I'm gonna take these guys out real fast. Thank you. Just gonna try to peek away at him. I don't have a fire res yet, dude. So not having a fire res could be a bit of an issue. Yoinked our first rod. Better, better choice of words I could have used there. Anyways, back to farming. I'm level 36 now. Sweet. I just got, a, uh, just wanted to get that quick uh, blaze rod. I'm probably gonna come back, obviously, so we can make some more for Eyes of Ender, for when we we're gonna challenge the dragon. But beforehand, I've got a lot more stuff that I plan to get done before we do that. So we'll be coming back. Don't worry. And of course, we're just going to quickly organize off uh, all this inventory. Get our nether wart in here. What else we got? Uh, we just got a bunch of random stuff, huh? Um, and just chuck that away. We don't need that no more. Yeah, get that out of here. Get out of here, bucko. Um, make a little bit more gold. I should probably trade with piglins, to be honest. Make ourselves a little bit of a nether wart farm. Get this all done. Sweet. I'm going to fill in these corners too because it kind of looked a little bit weird there. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's see if we can potentially get anything good here. So efficiency. Ooh, ooh, silk touch. Hello? Okay, I'd be crazy to give that up. Oh, decent, dude. Nice. Right, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Uh, anything good in here? Uh, I'm breaking. Okay. Uh, fire aspect. Honestly, I might take that just so I don't have to cook up all of my food. Save me time. That's decent. I'm breaking three. I think I'm going to go with the safe one here. Fire aspect. Yes. Yeah, and looting. Okay, decent. Pickaxe. Don't know if I really want to do that one yet. Unbreaking. I'll take it. Uh, okay, that's good for the nether. Decent, because I will be doing the, a lot of nether stuff early game. Aqua Infinity. That's pretty decent. Affinity? Infinity? Like what? I'm going to make myself an anvil. I'll plop this over here so I can put mending on this uh, pick. There we go. Because if it's a silk touch, I definitely don't want to be losing this guy. Done. And we back to farming, dude. I wish I had a fortune hoe at this point. I don't think looting works on these, uh, on this at all, so. Oh my gosh, I almost took my cat out, dude. Jeez. I've got a lot more cats now, as you guys can, uh, as you guys have probably noticed, I've got a calico now. But, uh, we farm and live cats, dude. And them crops. Well, we're looking good out here. And we also got a tabby cat, looks like. I'm gonna smelt up all this armor because I ain't got nothing better to do with my time. Get some nuggets. Yeah, nuggets. All right, I'm gonna look for a little bit of a shipwreck here because I'm thinking if we can get ourselves a shipwreck, we can find ourselves maybe a 
buried treasure and maybe get ourselves a couple cheeky diamonds potentially with some other cool stuff but we'll see what happens i also would like to find more of these trims so we got ourselves a boat here captain's quarters oh there it is i don't think this one's that rare this one which is which one's this one called i don't know i just want to get out of here because i can't breathe the uh the aqua infinity i should have ditched these boots dude why am i still wearing gold boots looking dumb out here uh oh moss okay i'll take the moss i do need the moss so i can actually farm that up that'd be nice okay where's this last one dude um yeah this one's a leggy one there it is perfect oh my gosh i don't even know what the flip that was but it gave me a heart attack Okay, uh, right. Let's see if we can find this treasure. And I suck at following maps. Okay. I'm gonna look at the map. Hey, look at this. We found ourselves a jungle. Decent. I'm gonna look at the map again so I look like I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna look at it again. I don't know how to follow maps in this game. I can't be the only one. Anyways, let's steal these uh, cocoa beans. I'm gonna steal a little bit of this jungle wood too so I can replant it back at my base. I'm gonna look for melons and bamboo over here. I uh, found a cheeky little bamboo up here. Take it out with my uh, my axe, even though I should have used my sword. But here we are. I don't see any melons hiding in any of these bushes. Hmm. You think they would stand out? I don't see them. But anyways, I found myself a little bit of a ruined portal over here. I see a gold block over there with my name on it. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep combing the coast for these uh these melons though. But I don't see any. Huh? Is that some? Hold on. Oh, just grass. Alright, cool. Outsider would be proud. He's a grass guy, he likes grass. Take that, thank you. And literally nothing good in here. All right, cool. Well, I'll take this. I mean, yeah. Okay. Um, still on the quest for melons. And I found some melons over here at the very end. I'm just going to steal these. I just need the seeds, basically. And it looks like there's a little bit of a lush cave in here. Nothing really that good. I was kind of hoping for a spore blossom or something uh, wicked. I'll take that, too. I don't know why. It could look, it could be cool. I don't even know why I need that. Anyways, back to it. Need to follow this map. I'm uh, I'm a little off course. I found it. It took me no time at all. Oh my gosh, dude, look at all those flipping gold. Nice. Uh, no diamonds though. Guess was too busy taking up, uh, taking up space with all this gold. I did flipping, hello? What's up with the inventory, dude? Um, oh gosh. I'm just gonna leave it. Found ourselves a mesa. You know what that means? We could potentially find ourselves an exposed mine shaft. So, like that. And it looks like we also have ourselves a ruined portal over here. Cool. And of course, I gotta put the diamond uh the diamond block, the gold block up high because you work. Having a flipping go all the way up there. Okay, let's get all that. Um Okay, we got two gold blocks. Let me just farm up a little bit of this. Uh, and let's get our way up there. I don't have feather falling yet, and I'm surrounded by lava. I literally could die here. <laughs> just thinking about that right now. As I'm going up. And let's just fill this guy in here. I don't have fire resistance or anything like that yet. There it is. Perfect. Found myself a mine shaft with nothing good. But I'll take it. I don't really want the rails. I'll take that guy up for the string. Same thing goes with that guy. That's those guys. Uh, let's see if we can find any more. Oh! Found herself a little bit of a zombie spawner. Decent. Okay, let's see if we got anything good in here. Uh, I'll keep that. Uh, cat disc. 
Uh, the name tags are really gonna come in handy. No freaking way, dude. A flipping notch apple this early in the game? Decent. Okay. I absolutely love that. Uh, this one, another name tag, two gold. I'll take the bread, even though I'll probably never eat it, but I could use them for my breeder. I know he's like trying to chuck it in there. Let me just kind of throw my garbage in there too. Uh, another chest, aqua infinity, decent. We'll take it. We got ourselves another one over here, dude. Hello? Uh, efficiency flipping four? Okay, decent. Okay, this is actually a really good mine shaft. I am pleasantly pleased. I'm going to be making my way back home now. Um, I think right over here, a little bit of a death pit. Found myself a pink sheep, dude. Hello? And it's uh, my sky pack scuff. It's raining and it's daylight. It's going to take that guy out. Now we have the pink wool. Uh, I'm going to cover these guys up because honestly, I just uh, feel very uneasy with these guys walking around. I feel like they're just going to yeet me into season two. Probably. Give it a cheeky little pause. Yeah. All right. Found myself a wandering trader. Uh, nothing good. I honestly didn't even look. Didn't even look. I'm so used to these guys having really cool, fancy, like, micro blocks and stuff like that. That I have in my other world. I'm sure you guys saw it in the very beginning of the video. And, um... Literally wasn't paying attention what that guy had, but we have leads now, so that's nice. Okay, I'm going to start converting this skelly spawner into a little bit of a farm so I can actually use it to kind of get a little bit of levels. And also to potentially get myself some arrows and kind of get geared up towards the dragon fight in case I don't find infinity. Okay, we got this thing all hollowed out. It should be all laid out for the water streams to basically push everything exactly where it needs to go. I got a bunch of axes in here. Don't ask me why I have so many. Like, don't ask, please. Um, okay, let's make ourselves some chests. And we'll make ourselves some hoppers as well while we're at it. Yeah, I need a little bit more iron here, but uh, I only need two hoppers. Okay, let's put our chest right here. And then we'll put our hoppers leading into the back side of them. The back side of them, yeah. Just like that, sorry. Perfect. And what do we got? Um, we got a little bit of stone. We'll probably put some slabs in here as well, just to kind of keep the um, skeletons from being able to shoot us. Just like that. That should be perfect. I don't think they could shoot us through there at all. Cool. And we can open up the chest. Nice. All right, let's get in here. I just want to make sure that my water is going to basically link up perfectly in here. So this guy should push him straight off to the edge. Yep. And then this guy should be able to push him straight up to that last hopper. Cool. Okay, let's go fill it in now. I'll be on my way. There we go. All right. Uh, let me make it out of here alive, dude. Hello? And it's always nerve-wracking when you first activate the spawner, dude. I wish you could just shoot torches out. All right, cool. We should now have something that actually works here. So we now have access to bone meal, a little bit of levels, and yeah. There we go. Get some, dude. There it is. All right, cool. Um, it looks like my experience is kind of getting trapped. Move the slab up. There we go. Um, it looks like my experience is also getting trapped inside the hopper now. I have a quick fix for that. We'll go quickly fix that after this. Let me just kind of grind these guys out real fast. Get out of here. Uh, my sword sucks. Yeah, we need to fix that. That's all scuffed up. We need it. Yeah. Uh, but I think all we're going to need to do is use this two light, uh, light gray wool, and then we can just plop it down in the hopper. Just like a so. Oh. There it is. Now we shouldn't have to worry about our experience basically getting stuck in there anymore. And maybe we can even get ourselves some good bows. 
Uh, I'm not an absolute savage. I'm gonna put some uh, stairs here. If you guys don't put stairs uh, on these uh, declines, then you're kind of a savage. I respect it. But uh, this is the way that we're gonna run things in here. I'm actually gonna set up stairs. Just a quick way to get up and down, basically, while I grind my levels. Decent. All right. All right, we're back, dude. Got myself a couple things here. I don't really have... T I don't have space for anything. We need to start building a, a little bit of a house. So I think I have a spot picked out for a house. And let's get around to that now. I was thinking up here. Because we're going to need to expand our storage room, like, exponentially. And I want a house that I can basically live in until at least a thousand days in this world. So I want to make myself a decent-sized house. Moving forward, I think I have this little area kind of carved out. Yeah, that looks good. All right, this is me digging this out super flipping fast mode. This didn't take me at least an hour. It didn't take me multiple days in Minecraft. This is all an illusion. This is all stone and iron tools. Done. Look at all this flipping dirt. Nice. Cool. Uh, but now we actually have ourselves a nice flat spot for a house. So we need to go farm up some resources for, for this. Uh, for, can I get words? For said house. There we go. Perfect. I think we're going to start off with dark oak first. There we go. Nice. Organized. So I'm looking to get about, like, what, eight saplings out of this? Not out of this one tree, because I know how, like, dark oak forests are kind of, like, a little bit of a scam. But I want to try to get myself as many saplings as I possibly can, so I don't have to come back here at all, pretty much. Because that would be an absolute vibe. So, I'm just going to quickly take this stuff out. I'm going to need to farm up tons of dark oak anyway. So it's going to be a pretty big component in the uh, the house that I have designed. That we're going to be basically living in. And like I said, I want to live in it till at least a thousand days. And I keep want to I keep wanna expand. I think I'm going to build a like a kingdom. And we're going to work our way up slowly. But I want every single villager to have its own house. A little bit of a vision, dude. All right, I'm going to set up a small little tree farm over here so I can farm this stuff a little bit closer to home. Yep, looks good. Um, just going to kind of fill this guy in. A uh, little bit of a trick for you guys. If you guys want to do a 2x2 two two sapling for a large spruce, you guys can do it like that. And then if you put another one right next to it, you can actually farm them like next, like literally into each other. You could pretty much end up with a massive cube of trees. And then, obviously, the, the only way to farm dark oak is like this, too. So, okay. Except, I don't think you can put those side by side. So, we get this all kind of done. Fill this guy all in. And be on our way. Cool. Uh, this guy is going to sell us a couple hoes. And uh, an axe. So I'm going to buy these hoes because I want to kind of build up a little bit of a better farming area. And I'll take these axes too. Cool. Thank you, sir. And he also has a really bad diamond axe. Cool. And then this guy. I could upgrade this guy, but I don't have enough emeralds. Okay. So I'm going to trade with these guys because the constant... Um, fear of basically uh pretty much dying to lava is actually starting to take over so we're just going to quickly get some fire heads and then be on our way because i don't really want to die to um lava you know how it is we have the fire protection on our chest plate so that should be kind of very helpful but Anyways, I want to get these guys kind of going. I also, if I can get myself some ender poles, that'd be super awesome. So what do we got in here? Oh, we got ourselves some fire res already. It's not that rare of a trade. And cutting onions advancement plus one for the uh, for the advancements. And uh, it, there it is. So we got ourselves a bunch of fire res. I'm going to keep this guy here. 
That's where I always keep it. Always in the far left. So. Trying to organizing this up so I can kind of get this stuff a little bit out the way. I've got a decent amount of gold, though. A full stack. Um, yeah. We're looking good. Let's, uh, let's go back to our house. After we can get some cheeky little enchantments. We got a fortune three pickaxe. Are you kidding me? Decent. We needed that. Uh, and then this guy. Flipping protection. That's a scam. Well, the protection's good, but I mean, like, still. One one enchantment, really? Uh, I'm gonna sell these guys off to this guy. Is he gonna upgrade? Perfect. And we got ourselves some golden carrots if we need, but I still want to get pork chops because they're better. No offense. We got ourselves a flippin' drowned. Did you know that tridents can take out flippin' uh, villagers and uh, immediately, like, turn them into flippin' zombies? Hello? I didn't. Okay, let me take this guy out. He's throwing forks, man. Bro, I almost took out of my jelly cat, dude. I almost took out the jelly cat. Um, all right, so this guy. Just gonna cover him up real fast. I'm probably gonna use him for our villager breeder. Because we'll be able to be able to actually move him up there. He'll actually chase us. Gonna steal a little bunch of this. Because we're gonna need some mossy cobblestone for our house. So, it's just going to take whatever I can get here. This is awesome. I always forget that you can get mossy stone from here. Um, Fletchers. I hear Fletchers are good. I still don't understand because I'd honestly be using my wood for building. But here we are. going to get myself some glass. We're going to be smelting up all this sand. I'm thinking about three, four stacks of this so we can build ourselves a house. Do a little bit of this action. Pop it all in here. I really miss efficiency, dude. I'm getting flipping attacked by another one of these guys, dude. Hello? Bruh. Oh my gosh, you just did two flipping hearts of damage. I'm out of here. Okay, wait, hold on. We're gonna wait for him to come out of the water. Uh... If he wants. It's not looking like it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, here he comes. I'll come in here for a sneak attack. Here we come. Oh. There it is. Alright, cool. Done. Get wrecked. We're gonna need some deep slate. Um, just doing some poke holes here, and I've found myself a huge amount of flipping diamonds. Are you kidding me? This is why you want to do poke holes. I wasn't even planning to record this. But, uh, you know we had to do it because poke holes, whenever you're farming down inside the deep slate, honestly, is absolutely massive. We got ourselves 22 diamonds from that. Are you kidding me? I'm just going to continue to keep doing poke holes on my way back. Also, my, my other pick's almost dead. So we're kind of just out here right now. All right, we back home. I'm gonna make myself full diamond armor because we're flipping rich like that. Pop those on there. Nice, full diamond. And honestly, I think it's uh, I think it's uh, probably beneficial to repair this pickaxe. There it is. Nice. It is a fortune three pickaxe. I think it's totally worth the three diamonds that we've invested into it. Pop those back into there. And there it is. The, the cheeky little upgrade for that. And can I get anything good out of these? I'm breaking fire protection. Okay. Uh, feather falling. Ooh. Okay. I'll take that. That's better than nothing. Honestly, we've been looking for feather falling here for a little while. Uh, I'm breaking protection. Uh, I'm breaking could be good. Uh, and we're back over here. Got myself some more diamonds. Hello? I'm just trying to farm up enough deep slate so I can get this house done. And I keep finding diamonds, so it's a plus. Uh, I think I see diamonds back there. Hold on. I do. Hello? Oh, that's a, sh that's a flipping bucket of water. 
Just take this guy out. Oh, found some more. Sweet. Oh my gosh, dude. Hello? How many, how many, how much experience do you get from these things, actually? I don't even think I pay attention. Yeah, I don't see any more. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, cool. But still, pretty good. Okay, I think it's time that we build ourselves a house. It's day 69. Nice. And I think we got all the resources to get this house started. So, without further ado, let's get all of our stuff together and we're going to do a quick little time lapse and build ourselves a house. These guys would just leave me the flip alone, dude. Hello? Bruh, I can't get anything done with these guys. You gotta be kidding me. Anytime I'm trying to get any kind of work done, these guys are all up in my grill, dude. Anyways, let's get rid of these guys so I can finally finalize this house and show you guys what's up, dude. Oh. All right, check it out. The final three obsidian as we light the portal to our brand new house. I don't know where that... Uh, where that end portal, nether portal is going to go, but we'll see what happens. But there he is. Our new humble abode on a beautiful view. Now, all that is left to do is I got to make myself a bunch of chests. I'm going to start moving into this house. I've kind of got wood kind of scattered throughout inside of here. So let me just kind of make as many chests as I can. I have a little bit of an idea that I want to add a quick little storage room over here. To the to the right, almost said left. Your right, your left, my right, right in here. Yeah, there we go. So we could just start stacking chests inside of this area in here. I'm thinking this will be extremely good for all of our bulk stone, wood, dirt, gravel. You know, you name it. This will be a really good spot for that. Go for another layer here. If I could place a chest correctly, hello. Oh my god. Help! Uh, wait. Can't put anything up there. At least not yet. I would like to put stuff up there. Uh, we can go in for another thing. We're probably gonna work out some slabs or some stairs for the top bit, just so we can actually utilize that. Probably stairs would probably make the most amount of sense. That way it's not visible from up top. But boom. There it is. There's our very first little storage room, and then up here... I'm thinking I want to basically put all my valuables up here so like my diamonds and stuff like that that i don't want to be putting in with all the bulk tools that we've got going on just to stay a little bit more organized i was thinking about just plopping them up against these walls probably go up about what too high yeah i think too high is decent for now i'll probably keep on expanding it even maybe put a ladder in the middle or something but there's that for all the valuables so let's go grab all the stuff we've got down below but first Let's uh let's put a chest on this guy. He's gonna definitely help us. How do you how do you put chests on these guys again? Oh, there it is. That noise? Hello? That was a good noise. Love that. Alright, let's go move all of our stuff inside the donkey. He's gonna help us basically move like twice as much stuff. So I don't have to make as many hauls as uh as you know. As, as, as the least amount of hauls as possible. So let's just go move this uh up into our new home. And, of course, the pink wool from that pink sheep we found. We're going to have to make a shrine for it. Okay, it's time to get ready for the dragon. I'm going to head my way over towards the blaze spawner so we can go get ourselves some more blaze rods. And, on the way, we got ourselves a cheeky wither skull. Not bad. Cool. That guy scared the crap out of me. Dude, I swear, zombified piglins, whenever you're just, like, kind of chilling, they're just, like, kind of, like, in the vicinity, like, looking to get hit. I don't know if I'm the only person who thinks that, but I'm, I'm out here for it. All right, I've seen a lot of people, like, dig this out. I think this uh, kind of maximizes the amount of spawns, in a way. I think it gives it more spawnable surfaces. I have no idea. But anyways, I want to get myself at least, I don't know, like, 30 blaze rods. That should tie us over for quite some time and definitely be enough for the dragon. So let's take these guys out. No 
those guys are gone. We got ourselves 23 rods. This should be the last little bit. We'll take these guys out real fast. And then we'll have to go farm up some ender pearls after this. And then we'll be on our way. Holy frick, dude. Hello? Yeah, I need to, I need to use fire res uh, when I'm taking these guys out. These guys get a little bit sketchy in this little area. So I'm telling you. Anyways. We definitely have ourselves enough blaze rods at this point. Almost 30. We got 29. We'll be on our way. These guys are a kill on site. Absolutely despise magma creams. These guys are so annoying. Plus, we got ourselves a uh, magma cream so we can make ourselves a... Uh... Wait, did I just call these guys magma cream? Anyways. These guys do a hell of a lot more damage than you may, than you may ever anticipate. These guys are so dangerous. And uh, now we can make our own fire res. All right, here we go. Let's get these ender pearls. Hopefully this looting too will definitely help us out here. We can get ourselves a few more ender pearls if possible because I can think of a few other things I would rather do with my time right now than sitting underneath this little platform farming pearls one at a time. All right, here we go. We got two in this bag. Both holding stuff, absolute menaces. I need to, I need to, I need to change that, dude. There's one for sure. Oh, get, get over here, dude. I don't even know if he dropped the pearl, but... All right, we're going to make a... I'm going to buy this mending book. I'm just going to start upgrading some of our tools for the dragon fight. We got mending. We got infinity for our bow, so we don't have to worry about arrows anymore. Upgrade our fortune pickaxe. Looking good. And back to the level grind where we're farming up even more levels. And I'm going to have just an insane amount of quartz by the time we're going to have done all this. But I need to get myself a few more levels so I can get all of my gear enchanted for this dragon fight. I'm going to farm this guy up real fast. And then we'll go see what we can do. I want to make myself a really good bow. Maybe a good sword if we can get some good enchantments. We'll see what happens. Okay, so we got an unbreaking guy. That's awesome. And let's upgrade this bow real fast because, you know, getting near the dragon is honestly a little bit of a death trap, especially if he or, or if she flings you up in the air and you don't hit that water bucket. But let's put some power five on there. You know what? I think I'm going to throw this on there too. There it is. Go through levels so freaking fast, man. Um, uh, upgrade those, put those guys on. This is some okay armor that we're gonna, probably going to be rolling into the dragon with. I got my, up, I've got these for the elytra. I'm going to make some eyes of ender. Make sure we also bring an anvil, but let's go find this stronghold. I want to see how far it is. This is a little bit of a scout. Don't know if we're going to be fighting the dragon just yet. It really depends on how far of a, of a trek this is. I think we've kind of found it. The pearl's kind of leading me here. I think it's right here. All right, cool. Um, This is, um, let's do this. Hopefully we can actually find this. I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna get like flipping lost inside of the stronghold, but sometimes they're an absolute maze. Found the stronghold. Nice. So we in here. And moments later, literally just came in here and we found this thing immediately. Didn't even have time to record anything. I just kind of like went around the corner and boom, stronghold. Also, I found this super flippin' sweet amethyst. I was like part of the library. Yoinked ourselves the, um, another trim. What is that? Like the eye trim. But we ain't ready to take on the dragon just yet. I'm going to kind of mark this location so I don't lose it. So I can come back here for later. Cool. Looking good. Uh, let's just bring, yeah. bring that up a little bit. There we go. Now we, now we definitely can't lose that. And we'll put an L there just in case. So I should have made this way before, but we need to make ourselves an, a, yeah, an, an, an ender chest so we can store a little bit more of our resources because our inventory is not looking like a snack. So we're just going to kind of chuck a couple things in here. Um, anvil for our elytra. We got our mending. We got our unbreaking that we're going to put on our elytra as well. And a few other, like, necessities. But keep the bed. What, what book is that? I'm just going to chuck that away. Found this grumpy boy out here in the flipping jungle. 
Okay, I'm going to be lighting up a bunch of the end island just to kind of mitigate the amount of endermen. And I think we're about ready to head back and take this dragon on. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. The anticipation of taking down your first dragon in hardcore is always a little bit nerve-wracking. I'm sure it's not that bad. I think the endermen are like the probably the worst thing besides the dragon, but it's the lack of visibility and being able to look at the dragon. But let's go take this... Let's go take her out, dude. Here we go. Okay, dude, not a bad platform to spawn on. I will never get used to this feeling of pillaring over the void with no wings. I fall, I'm helpless. I'm just so dead, dude. Anyways, I'm just kind of like listening to her in like the, the left of my ear. And I'm just like, ooh, she could be flying over here to, to fling me into outer space. It is the very first dragon killed in this world. Done and dusted. Things got a little bit hairy with that Enderman, though. I ain't gonna lie. With those three Endermen, let's get these levels real quick. Uh, it should get about, like, what, 60, 70 levels? 69 ish, hopefully. Praise. Here we go. This is, uh, this is actually so nice. Let's grab this dragon egg as well while we're here, obviously. Pop it over here. Grab these pearls, and we're going to immediately go find ourselves some wings, because that's what we came here for. We already have our books, so let's just grab this real fast. Put the torch a little bit too low there, but there it is, the next generation, plus one to the advancement tree. Let's go find ourselves some wings. So we have the gateway right here. I'm going to make myself a trap door so I can get on in here. And let's go find ourselves a city. Okay, we're through. And I'm not seeing any cities immediately. I've got my render distance cranked to 30 or 32 or whatever it is. So let's just start pillaring around until we can at least find something, hopefully. Maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can find an end ship fast. Okay, I see something off in the distance here. Hard to tell if there's a bow, but it's kind of looking promising. That's a boat! Hey, yo! Okay, it's way out there. That's a boat, so we just need to get over there, grab our wings. But before we can do that, it looks like we have a giant flipping void before we can even get our wings. 
let's collect some resources so we can start pillaring across. I think we're going to need about, uh, like, maybe three stacks. And let's start our voyage across this void. Hopefully without dying. I think I'm going to pearl, dude. I, I'm, like, halfway. This is, the anxiety is killing me. Yeah, I'm pearling, dude. F this. Yep. All right, that was definitely the play. It's looking like a decent city. Uh, the boat's probably over the void, too. Got our shulker boxes here. We've got their advancement. Making my way over to the boat now. I took out the shulker already. Just kind of, like, shot him with my bow and stuff like that. Obviously. Didn't want to, uh, didn't want to get, like, shot or anything like that. Come through here. Let's yoink these potions real fast. Thank you. And let's grab that dragon head. Uh, I killed this guy up here. And let's grab the dragon head over here. Hopefully it doesn't fall into the void because I would like to display this as the very first dragon head we got in the world. Nice. And let's head on down below. And hopefully we can get something good out of the chest down here as well. Get this guy out of here, dude. Out. Take our wings. Sky's the limit. Get a little bit of gold. Eh, nothing good there. Got a shovel with Curse of Vanishing. I get that's I. Uh, and let's like quickly enchant these wings so we don't plummet out of the sky. We got our mending. We have our unbreaking. So we're going to slap that on there. Perfect. There it is. Let's just put those guys on. Quick little chest plate check. This is our very first fly in this world. It's feeling absolutely amazing. Let's see if we can get anything good in here. Seven diamonds, decent. Nothing good, but I will definitely take the ender chest as well. I'll take that end run. Let's fly up here. There's a couple more chests up in here. This one's a little bit more sketchy than the last one. It's got far more uh, shulkers in here. Nothing good, and nothing good. Okay. Well, I mean, the gold will come in handy. We could trade those with paper later on. Especially when we get a little bit more situated. Alright, I'm heading home. No point really staying out here. We're not going to do a whole lot of end busting today. I kind of just want to go home. We are day, like, 98 right now. So... Heading back to the main end island. The main end island actually looks pretty dang cool. I don't mind it. It's it's a pretty good shape. It's neat. I don't know if I'm going to be removing it all, but I guess we'll see what happens later on in the series if I've survived long enough to do something with it. End credits. Something I haven't seen in a very long time, as you guys can imagine. Let's get out of there, though. Back to the spawn, because we didn't set our bed, obviously. We were going in there. We either dead... We're coming out uh, into the spawn. But this is the spawn chunks. And it's so nice to be able to fly across the uh, the plains and the meadow. And actually take in the whole seed now. And just to, like look at all the beauty we're surrounded by. This seed is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. And then our home should be just right over here. Right there. Our house. So we can now actually start getting settled in to our base. Let's see if I can come in here without a crunch. Nope. Nice. I'm always flying into stuff, dude. But hey, we're back. Plop an ender chest right here. we got a couple more days left. I'm going to make a small little shrine for the dragon egg. And of course, the dragon head. I'm going to probably put our suit of armor next to it. I need to upgrade the armor first. Make ourselves some shulker boxes. Not bad. Um, and then the rest of these chests, I, I guess I'll keep them. F it. Plop these into the ender chest. We got a couple more. We could probably do a little bit more, but at least we have storage figured out. I need more rockets, so we'll need to make a gunpowder farm. But before we get into that, I want to start rolling some actual librarians so I can get myself some proper armor so I don't die. Set ourselves up a little bit of our enchantment table up here. Pop this guy right there. Put our brewing stand right there. Nice. I don't have an anvil to put there yet. But we're going to be moving in here relatively soon. But there it is. Let's go to bed. I think we're on day 99. It's a beautiful night. We're going to go lay our head to rest for one final day.
Boom. 100 days. Yo, if you guys enjoyed this episode, if you guys made it to the very end and you want to see this series continue, please give the series a like. Give it a comment on what your favorite parts were. I need uh, names for all my tools and all of my... Uh, my pants and I'm gonna be looking at the comment section to see what you guys have planned. I'll see you guys in the next 100 days